Hello, hello to all of my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Freedom Friday video. In some parts of the world, it is still Thursday. In some, it is Friday. Let's get into it. Scorpios, we are coming up on Scorpio season. And congratulations to the winner of the books that we received from a fellow Scorpion. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for those gifts. And so we started, we kicked off, we started uh, Scorpio season early. So, uh the next giveaway will start on actual official Scorpio season, which is the 23rd. So congratulations to the people who won the books already. I was just ex so excited. I didn't want to hold off on to um, Scorpio season. So as soon as I got the books, I'm like, oh, let's do the giveaway. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into your reading, Scorpios. Let's get right into your reading. Hopefully you all are having a great week. I know you are. You're setting those intentions, Scorpio. So let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Don't forget to check your birth chart to see where Scorpio is in your cards. We're going to talk about your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Um, and rising, obviously, is your ascendant sign. That's how you present yourself to the world. So you want to make sure you are, you know exactly what nurtures your spirit. Here we have the King of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. Mm -mm. We have the Seven of Cups. Uh-huh. <laughs> Very nice. All right, Scorpios, I see you. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. We have the Page of Wands. Very nice, Scorpios. Very, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. One of the things that's consistent when I pull Scorpios cards in particular is money. Wealth is what I see in your cards. So if there's any Scorpios out there that's struggling financially, you really want to check because um, the energy of money is very attractive to you. So you really, really want to check the emotional, like the, the emotions attached to maybe heartbreak or deep disappointment. Are you spending an enormous amount of time on something that was very disappointing or heartbreaking for you? No matter what it was, it could have been a, a breakup. It could have been you found out something about somebody or because if so, that's what's blocking your money. And I do see new inspiration coming across somebody's path. The new inspiration is coming fast too. New inspiration could be in love. It could be creative, um, you know, learning money creatively. Something is coming across your path. So this is about speaking to your sun sign. For instance, if your sun sign is Scorpio, then the journey that for you may be to dive into depths gaining inner strength through weathering tough conditions and emerging transformed. So it doesn't matter what you choose. You could be a politician, you could be a detective, you could be a you could be a dancer, a singer, a record producer. It doesn't matter what it is, but it's really about you like like laser focus, being really, really intense. A lot of Scorpios have that, that, that very, the intense eyes. Like when you lock into something, it's just, you have that, like that gaze. Like I'm looking, I, I see myself. I already see myself there. Like I see myself graduating from school or I see myself in that CEO position or I see my, like you just like laser in on it. And so if your laser focus is on wanting a family, you and your partner or a significant other or whatever, and you see yourself maybe it's a blended family or you and your, you know, your person creating, you know, your, your own, your kids, yourselves or whatever the situation is. Like I said, your wisdom, maybe, maybe it's time to sit down and talk to somebody like a, like wise counsel, like really sit down and talk to somebody. Cause you got a lot of, you got a lot of temptations coming your way, a lot of temptations coming your way and see if you can like really talk to um, like I said, wise counsel, the wisest counsel obviously would be source would be God. Um, but you want to make sure when you're asking source about the energy that you want, that you know exactly what nurtures your spirit. What I mean by that is so no matter what you, your sun sign is or your purpose, no matter what you do, it's the, it's the intensity that you all put behind things right but let's say your moon sign is a uh, scorpio right emotions tend to run deep and holding on to hurts at times can be destructive so working out what nurtures you could be in a gym right because tough physical exercise can be a way to discharge your feelings so that you're not stuck somewhere right so that you're not stuck on this deep disappointment or heartbreak Let's say, for instance, so so remember, if you're if you're stuck on deep disappointment and heartbreak, 
the ascendant or your rising sign and how we introduce ourselves to the world will come across this way like a person who is hurt. So making decisions as a hurt person versus or like bleeding all over people. And that can come off, you know, as negative. It can come off as very dark energy. Um, hurt people can hurt other people and not even realize that they're hurt, not hurting other people. And so having a, a spiritual... Um, a spiritual advisor looking here at your cards is going to help you clear away some of that. Let's say your Venus is in Scorpio. Relationship is a passionate affair and perhaps a vehicle for powerful transformation. So trust will be important to you. So when you fall, you fall deeply, right? So you're going to have to trust the person that you're with. And so maybe they need to work up to that trust if your Venus is in Scorpio because Scorpio is the planet of love and pleasure. And so how you communicate with that person, very passionate, could be through sacred through sacred sex. And so you don't want to exchange that energy with somebody that you don't trust. And then you're absorbing their toxins. And then all of a sudden, again, vibrating low. So again, this is very, very important for you to know what nurtures your spirit and what sets you apart from other Scorpios. Because no matter what their moon, Venus rising or whatever is in their chart, Pluto, Saturn, Uranus or whatever... Everybody is uniquely created. So let's see what else we have going on here, Scorpios. Let's see. Okay. Like I said, <laughs> hard work. In the meantime, while you're waiting for, let's say your moon, let's say your um your Venus is Scorpio. Let's say your let's say your sun sign and your Venus is Scorpio. And so you're waiting to see if you can trust somebody, right? In the meantime, keep working hard. Keep looking for a pattern of behavior. Are they building up trust with you? Are you are they can they trust you? Here we have the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Hierophant card, and also the Seven of Swords, right? Yeah, somebody's giving away enormous amount of their power. This is a lot, this is a lot of power somebody's giving away, right? So a lot of sleepless nights. See this person right here? It doesn't necessarily mean you were crying tears, but just kind of like, I can't really sleep. Something about the energy I don't necessarily trust, right? And so this came from looking here, seven of swords, somebody holding on to some kind of secrets. But as soon as you ask, as soon as you ask source, what is it about them that I can't fully trust? Like, why can't I fully let go in this? Source is going to expose it to you. And that's when somebody is going to sail away from it. When source exposes things to you, it's not always a bad thing. Let's just, let's keep the vibrations very high. Sometimes it's just... Let me show you what this thing is going to look like five, ten years from now. And and for them, it, it the way that they love can be different than the way that you love. Maybe the thing, maybe the relationship started out hot and heavy and very passionate. Source is going to show you five to ten years from now. Hey, they're not going to be hot and heavy and passionate in five or 10 years. You, it's going to be like you by yourself. And then it's going to be some friction and problems, right? It could be something as simple as that. Not necessarily somebody's cheating, right? So what I'm saying to you, when I'm looking here is that I see somebody maybe talking to their pastor or some kind of a spiritual leader or, or like in some kind of advice from some kind of a, some kind of an organization, somebody's getting some kind of advice from like really, really talking to somebody about, just taking their time and in, 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 in moving into this part of their lives. Remember, we're coming up on the end of a cycle and we're moving into a new one where everybody's going to be feeling extra tired, lethargic, and it could be happening already now. If you feel like you need to get some extra rest, your answers are going to come through your dream, right? But it's time to release negativity. It's time to release any negativity about the past, who you gave away your love, you gave away your power to people in the past, and I'm not sure if I can trust. Your new person shouldn't have to pay for people cheating and lying on you in the past. Your new job should not have to, um, you know, pay for your old job not appreciating you because you got some new stuff coming your way that's going to really make your home life very, very peaceful, right? And, it's, and it starts with you knowing how to mother or nurture yourself. So go look up your uh, your um, moon sign. Here we have abundance planning. Start writing out your list. Start seeing yourself. I have my family. Everybody's at peace. My universe is good. My money is looking good. I got other opportunities coming my way. Like you have to start writing out your abundance um, planning, right? This is where you're speaking it into existence. This is where the faith is coming in. 
so let's see what your number is, Scorpios. Let's see what your number is. Like I said, I do see somebody uh, maybe consulting a spiritual leader. It could be your pastor. It could be a priest. It could be a Reiki healer. It could be um, somebody spiritually that you respect. Um, it, it, it could be anybody. Like I said, whoever you, you feel like is fit or you feel like somebody that you feel like you can talk to spiritually about, you know, um, your, what your desires are. It looks like for somebody to have a family, the person is certainly wise. Um, they may be older than you are. They may be, um, somebody who is really a kind hearted spirit, somebody who is, they understand what your ambitions are when they don't say that they don't think you're too being too ambitious, you know, about wanting a family. They understand that you have a lot of temptations in your path, but you really desire for somebody to really settle down, especially if you somehow are in the public eye. Let's say you're on social media or whatever, and, you know, you're making money and um, you're doing things and, and when I say doing things, I mean like you're you have your own business or whatever. You're working very hard. That's what I mean by doing things. You're you're working very hard, and people can see all the um. So people can see all of the uh, all of the attention that somebody is getting. All those temptations coming your way still is not satisfying the need for somebody to say, "I really want to settle down." I want to have a family with somebody, even if it's blended and they had if their kids, you could have your kids or no kids and want kids, whatever the situation is, somebody is seriously thinking about talking to some kind of a spiritual leader about it. So, um, and take your power back. Like I said, take your power back. All, all the power that somebody has given away by letting people assume and think certain things about you, talking about you, you know, publicly trying to humiliate somebody. Somebody's finally starting to speak up for themselves. So that's what I'm saying for you. You're learning how to take your power back unapologetically, clearing some things up so that, um, that like I said, here we have, and you're going to be successful at it. Your number is eight, successful at it. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other Scorpios. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. What I'm seeing here, when somebody gave some gave away so much of your power, somebody has let people gaslight other people about you, talk about you about behind your back and smile on your face. Somebody's let a lot of things just slide, but those days are over. Somebody says, you know what? There's no way I'm going into this new moon, not being a new person. And again, you're picking and choosing your fights wisely, but you're clearing up a lot of things so that your person, whoever you either end up with or currently in a relationship with, don't assume the worst about you. Because again, you come in with receipts. It's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a very powerful person. I've let too many things slide and I'm not letting that slide anymore. So yeah. So kudos to you, Scorpio, in other words. Because again, your, dark, your, your thoughts don't have to go really dark at all. Somebody just needs to, after a while, somebody gets tired of giving away, giving away their power. And just, okay, I'm just going to keep on working hard and earning money. No, somebody's speaking up and taking their power back. It's like, let me let go of negativity. My abundance can be in every area of my life. People can have that. Looking at this, somebody has the money. Somebody has the family intact, or at least you're going to have your family intact. And it's, see, letting go. Affirmations for letting go. I release what I cannot control. Didn't I just say somebody's choosing their battles um, carefully? You don't need to address every every knife every sword that, you know, that was stabbing in your back. You don't need to address everything. Some of it is just, I'm just getting up, getting up and walking away from it. But if it's causing people that I love to really start to question, now it's time for me to address some things. Here we go. I let go of doubt. I will not allow fear to stop me. I say goodbye to all that blocks my growth. I am weightless, free from burdens. I am shifting my perspective. I am free from regret. Failure is, is a, a helpful feedback. That's it. I'm telling you, somebody is in a, somebody, the beautiful thing about a uh, solar eclipse, and it just happens to be on this new moon in, um, in Scorpio. The beautiful thing about solar eclipse is that when we don't take the time to get rest, God uses the solar eclipse as a way of saying, you don't have a choice, but to get some rest. I'm going to reset you for you. I'm going to reset everything for you. So, so you'll feel refreshed and renewed after this solar eclipse. Like it's like you stepped into a whole new world and it's balanced out. So anything extra that you put back on your space in your um, universe, 
guess what? You put it there. You're a creature of free will, right? So God is about to balance everything out for you. I'm telling you, he's about to balance out everything. So if somebody has some, some feelings about you based on what they heard about you, what they thought about you, all that's about to be cleared up. So like I said, completely, completely balanced out. That's what I have for you, Scorpios, and I will see you all on Sunday. Thank you for joining me. Again, if you're waiting for, um, there's a couple of signs that we still need to record for the three-month um, the three month prediction video. There's still some we're trying to get out. We're just trying to make sure we get these videos up too because this is keeping in line with the four videos we put up a week. So we want, we're, still getting, we're still preparing those other ones up, the three-month prediction videos as well as getting ready for this solar eclipse. <laughs> so thank you for being so patient and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye.